<laughs> hey everyone, it's Jay again, and I am here with Valu and our special guest Slade Ken, also known as Carl. Also. What up? Yeah, just Carl. Mm. The last name. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is podcast number five. We're going to be doing some things, talking about some manga, and we also got some, uh, some questions that we have to answer. What do you guys want to do first? We should do the questions first, because right. that might actually take up the chunk of our time. Yeah. And we might even go into other stuff that we might be talking about anyways. All right, so what's the first question? First question is from Accelerate Jeff, and he asks, uh, these are Ninja Saga related really questions, by the way. Mm-hmm. So Accelerate Jeff asks, how do you get so much money? I am struggling to get my first talent. Please help me. No comment. No comment. Uh, about as far as I got a good go. answer for you. Okay. All right, check it out. Play the game nonstop and just nerd rage when you don't get enough money. <laughs> yeah, the, the, there really isn't any secret way to get money. I mean, it's just playing the game. It, yeah, and or begging your parents for money. I guess not something I did. I actually have a job, but. Still no comment. Yeah, same Next here. question. All right. Asian guy 2100 asks, I miss live PvP. Do you know when it is going to come back? No. Next question. <laughs> you don't need to rush through these. No, I'm just rushing through that one. Those ones. I'm dead serious. The other ones will try to answer seriously, but it's just that. It's just those ones okay. are just in particular. If uh, you want, we could have spaced these out a little better. We can start all over. Just go. Next anyway. Question. Okie dokie <laughs> asks. Yeah, okie dokie. Okie dokie asks, will they create new talents, and what if they don't fix PvP? But let's go to two-part questions. So. Okay. Uh, I don't know when they're going to create new talents. It says, will they? Oh, okay. they, they're yes, definitely they going to make new talents, but I don't know when they're going to come out. I don't even play this game when I know that they will. Yeah. And it, what if they don't fix PvP? They're fixing PvP because, like, that's kind of one of their... Staples, I guess. It's like on their list of shit that they promised us. Yeah. I mean, back items used to be on our list of shit that they promised us and they never gave it to They didn't give us into it until like last year on the anniversary event. Yeah. That was the very first back item, the uh, Tyco. Unfortunately, they've gone a little overboard on back items. Yes. Yeah, really, nice. really crappy back items. So that. Yeah. Uh, back yep. items that cost so, like, what, $100? Yeah. $100 and they do nothing? Yeah. Fantastic! If you're stupid, you can get those. Alright, uh... You can go ahead and ask Mario and Flores. Oh, Mario and Flores. Talk about the Rocky, Lucky Roulette and the second anniversary in Ninja Saga. Uh... It was interesting, because I was wondering if they were going to do something about the whole uh, level thing. I didn't know we were going to get level 80 in, like, an hour on all our <laughs> yeah. characters, but... Still, um, it was it was interesting, and it, I guess if you just you know waited because you don't have any money, uh, you just you know you just tried your luck, and hopefully you got a hundred tickets and you'd be pretty much set for a level at least one of your characters. Maybe if you even got more lucky, you'd probably get another one. I know on one of my characters, I just did the like the daily ticket, and I actually got a hundred tickets three times. Not in the same one, but with the 100 tickets afterwards, where you get the point. Yeah. Carl, we will, we will get to some of the questions you can answer after the Ninja Saga questions. But yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So these questions... Oh, you want to answer? Yes, I want to answer. Not this one, I don't uh, know anything okay. about Okay, well, let me finish saying this one then. Um, I really hated this time, because this is the time where my account got banned, or blocked, or whatever you want to no. call it, because oh, yeah, someone right. reported my name. And yeah, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so I did do the lucky roulette on most of my ninjas. It sucks. I held back because I wanted to help my friends yeah. who couldn't pass the exams, well, and then my friends reported me. I don't even know why you were you were holding back because like you had to have done that like every day or, or and like there's some stuff that you had to collect. There's some stuff you had to collect and. Uh, uh, it's like it was like a daily thing. There's like one some stuff that you can only do once a day, and you needed a lot of it. You needed a lot of it to get all the back items and the hairstyles and the jutsu and stuff. Right, you're talking about the rewards. I was talking about the lucky roulette. Yeah, well, I was you get that too. I was holding back on the lucky roulette because I wanted didn't want to level up Uriel at least, um, and I left Haken level sixty for a while, um, but I didn't do the 
the the reward things just out of pure laziness. So, good question, Mario. All right, next one. Um, Flowboys five ten asks. I know you are loyal to the ninjas, but would you ever consider on joining another clan? The Ku Klux. I suppose this is a question directed at both of us because we're both still in the ninjas, and I guess that should be an answer in itself. Because, I mean, I know, I know Jay's gotten a lot of offers for a bunch of different clans. Even what elite Latina? Yeah, I've gotten everything. Elite Latina. I've gotten emblem elites. So I've gotten Filipino clan. Yeah, I got one from One Piece and elite Latina and. Uh, I got a couple from Indonesian All Stars, but I'm glad I didn't join them since I've already they've already disbanded. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if Ma, if Maho Gakuru showing up again is the real deal, but I'm pretty sure it's not because uh, I kind of remember what happened to the old clan clan leader. So yeah, we were there then. Yeah, <laughs> um, I I said that I would. I actually answered this question in the comments, and I said that I would if you ever did. Well, I would, well that well in that case then you're not going to be tra- changing clans because I'm not changing clans. Okay. I know we're. Pro- I don't know how long it's going to be before Zenin just comes up if ever, but if we do, it will probably be in force with a bunch of members that are probably going to destroy the world of Ninja Saga or something like that. I know that much. All right. <laughs> Dark player asks when the special joining exams come out. They told us the day before that it would be released at midnight. Were you up at midnight? I know I was. Well, um... But that's not... I didn't sleep. Yeah, you, you I, weren't, I was, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty yeah. sure you were sleeping. I was dead asleep. I had, uh... I had stuff to do the day before work. and tomorrow, so... It wasn't very convenient for me to be up at midnight. I most likely was up at midnight. Yeah, but <laughs> Maybe you were, but you weren't doing it because you were ready for the, uh... general exams. Yeah. No. Yeah. Or the special. Yeah, it was up. Um, it didn't even come out of it. I think I was up at midnight, but then I went to sleep at like twelve twenty, uh, or one twenty my time because that's uh, well twelve twenty server time, uh, because it wasn't out yet. Mm. So I just went to sleep. Um, Ninja Saga has a history of saying it was released at a time and not coming out of time, or just saying it comes out on a day and everyone automatically assumes it's midnight. midnight. Yeah. Spidey97 asks, what is the best element combination for free and emblem users? Was that this Spidey97? Is a, this is a two-part question, because it's different between fuck free and emblem users. Yeah. So it can, it can kind of consolidate into earth water for both. Yeah. But for free, you're probably, like, you're probably best off with any kind of water. Like, yeah. if you want to be lightning, fire, wind, whatever, you can just combine it with water, and you'll be, you'll be pretty much set... But like the real, like the real good combination, like a dodge master would probably be like lightning and wind. But I don't recommend that because I don't know if you're gonna use lightning flash that much later in the game. Yeah, I so don't use it. Stuff. I haven't used it since like level forty three or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, so free users, it's just just like whatever you prefer. Because I well, all right, I have a problem against lightning because it. Eh, it sucks. I think lightning's the worst as well. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go into crit, I, I know crit can put out a retarded amount of damage, um, and that can be good in PvP sometimes, but you're also putting up the chance, but at level 80, it's not really much of a chance, because you got all these back items that can increase it, but mind you, most of the back items aren't really available. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of back items that increase crit, uh, crit chance... Uh, Aren't available anymore. I think even the Dark Blades, are they still available? No, those were the those were the old uh, recruit friend rewards. Yeah. They were the first. Yeah, they were the... F- no, they weren't the no, first. No, they weren't the first. Well, Spirit Touch was first. Yeah, Spirit Touch was first then, they replaced it with that, and now it's the thing. That back item that increases 50%. Oh, it's like the Ninja Bag, but better. Yeah, but better. Um, <clears> and then, yeah, the whole pet thing. Emblem users, it's different. But I think the best... I think the best is Earth and Water. For free users. Yeah. Um, and similar to Emblem, I th- uh, personally, I don't know how you feel about this, but I think the best is Earth, Water, Wind for Emblem users. Hmm. I agree. I, I can agree with that because, like, Earth, it's just kind of like, it, it's like combining Earth and Water is like a good harmonization because you're healing yourself with the Embrace of Golem and healing Jutsus. And it depends on where you want to pump your points in, because you can be a purifier, and you know, 
avoid that whole like stun lock thing that a lot of people on PvP do because they're wind users. And uh, so yeah, I mean you could be a wind user. I mean they're uh, like level twenty friggin' second week playing this friggin' game back in September in oh nine. Oh yeah. I saw wind and I was like. They may change it a little bit, but it will always remain that wind will most likely be one of the best elements alone, just because of the dodge factor and that and the speed. Because they're just gonna be they're they're just gonna keep passing you, and you, even t at the times that you do get to attack, they'll just be they'll be dodging, and, and it's 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 crazy because this game is so imbalanced. What what I like about Wind Earth Water though the most is that no matter what you put your points into, it still works. You can pump your points into water, still good. Pump your points into earth, still good. Pump your points into wind, still good. And they will always complement each other. Yeah. Uh, but if you have fire or lightning in there, yes, fire is incredibly helpful because burns are stupid helpful. On bosses, yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, you're, they're not necessary. You don't absolutely need them. Just speed it up a little bit. It's just PV, PvP spec and then fucking player spec. And... I, I guess I benefit from being as a ninja member because I got that, that fiery night phoenix, so I have like a three turn burn. A three turn. F oh, where was it? It's a three percent for four turns. Yeah, it's a three percent for four turns burn. And yes, it's a taijutsu, so I lose like 200 something fucking HP. But, but whatever. You have a lot of health. I've got a lot of HP. I'm a tank. So yeah. A mega tank because like I'm restoring 200 HP a turn now. You don't need. Yeah, you know what? You got a bat? <laughs> yes, I got a bat. That's good. <laughs> All right, who's next? Nicola. Okay, uh, Nicola asks, "How many times do I have to beat Biako to get his weapon?" There, I know there's some people out there who's done the research and who knows the like the it's a like a one in one hundred and thirty six percent or one one out of one hundred and thirty seven chance. Like, but I don't know what it is. You just gotta keep fighting them. I know it took me damn near a year to get uh, Ghetto Shesho, Ghetto Shesho's uh, weapon, and then I found it was completely useless for my character. Oh, that sucks. I thought. Yeah, it, was... it wasn't really helpful. I needed something with better chakra regeneration. Even that back item that came out in one of the clan wars, it's not that helpful because it's less than that. But it would be nice to have it because it's not a weapon, and the weapon I have now gives me so much freaking health. It's stupid. Yeah, I don't know, uh, I've said this a lot actually in a couple of my videos, and I don't know why it's still asked actually, it, it, it's a percentage chance, it's not, you don't, you, know, you don't fight him 20 times and get it, it doesn't work that way, you have a percentage chance each time you fight him uh, for his weapon to drop, so you might, you could get it on the first time you fight him, but it could take you the two millionth time that you fight him, it just, you know, of course that's very unlikely, but it's possible, so... Buffy Elmo Elmo <laughs> asks, "When will Ninja Saga release the next set of exams? Next year, T two years? Yeah, I'm thinking a year and a half. And that's the theme they're going with, kinda ish. It's, I mean, the difference between the tuning exams and the the Jonian exams uh, I think was a bit different. They were a little shorter on that. Uh, what well, what comes after the Jonian exams? Special Jonian exams." Yeah, no. special Jonin is after Jonin, uh, which we just completed, and and we, then does it move up to the Hokage or does it go to Anbu or what? We don't really know. No, we don't know yet. It, like they could throw out something right now, but they'll change it later because that's what they did with the special Jonin. Special Jonin used to be Black Ops. Yeah, they're gonna call it Black Ops, and then they changed it to Special Jonin. Yeah, yeah just before the Sam's came out, they did the same thing with the the talents. They called them Bloodlines. We've already been over that. Mm -hmm. Have fun with this next name here. Yeah. Mitar Pat Para. Hmm. Sorry if I said that wrong. I probably said Nicola wrong. It's probably Nicola. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, new or old Ninja Saga, which do you prefer? I like the old... I, I kind of miss the old Ninja Saga music. You couldn't tell if it repeated because it was it just sounded all the same anyway. Yeah. The new music is just like it's a total rip off of well both of them were of of that one show of ninjas that's very popular and you can believe it but <laughs> uh, you can believe it or not but still 
Alright, um, I don't know. I don't have a problem with the new ninja saga. It's just the, the <coughs> you, it, it depends on what you want to do. I've, I, I've said this before, but if you want to get into clan wars, I prefer the old ninja saga before there was clan wars. But if you don't want to get into clan wars, you're fine. Yeah. You're fine with I the think new I ninja saga. I think I prefer the new ninja saga if you don't include the clan wars. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of people out there who can't afford some of the stuff that they're coming out with, like the new phantom stuff that they've come out with. I know there's some people who can't get that stuff, but I really don't give a crap. <laughs> I do want the jutsu. I do want the jutsu. That's one of the more valuable things. Like yeah. anything that has an effect in battle, like a back item or something, I did that I'll get it. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Uh, that unless you have anything to say to, to that, Carl, do you? Um. What was the question about old or new? Yeah, older new ninja saga. Which do you prefer? Should I start playing it when uh? You started Nobody before me. You're you're actually an older player than Bryce or I. And yeah, no, uh, so I guess I gotta say old, just because that's when I started playing. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, I don't know if you know that he's a younger uh, ID than number than I do. Oh really? Yeah. No. Oh, wow. Um. All right. Now that was a less interesting question. Um. Here's the only random game question. Uh, Kyle asks. Why haven't you made Minecraft videos yet? I think this is specifically to me. Yeah, this is specifically to you. Because <laughs> I, no, I definitely haven't made any videos. Um, Minecraft sucks. No, Minecraft is actually really fun, actually. And well, I've never played it and it looks shitty, so that's my opinion. Um, <laughs> Valor just walked away for a second, so. <laughs> um, it's, uh, I, I actually, I do enjoy Minecraft a lot. I do play it when I get the chance to, which I, it's been harder for me to play it recently. But the reason why I haven't made any videos yet, yet of Minecraft is because my computer sucks. There's really no other explanation than that. I am saving up for a new computer right now, but my computer is it just cannot. That's a I wish my computer sucked. That's a Coke can being open. I'm sure you guys all heard that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm saving up for a new computer. Uh, so I can make some micro videos. As soon as I get the new computer, I will make them. So and they will be awesome. Yeah, and we actually have some a lot. Uh, you you know you can get the <laughs> you can get it from value value here as well. That we do have some things in the works. We are working on some new material. Uh, so definitely be looking forward to some new videos. Not inspired by Yogcast at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not inspired by Yogg's cast in the least. No, yeah. of course not. Right, next question. Anime manga related. <laughs> the legend of Ari says, or ask, why'd you put it that way? I said says. Oh. Did, okay, well, tell us your thoughts on, oh, God. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like, tell us your thoughts on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, all right. But this... You told me how this I, question I, was asked okay. originally. Okay, I did you need to ch you need to you need to come up. You need to tell me how it was asked originally. Uh, I did change the the how the how it was asked. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Uh, <sighs> was the right. question how is asked? No, no, no. Here's hold on. Here's how it was really asked. You want to read it or you want me to read it? All right. Well, this is a comment on one of the videos that we put before on one of our previous podcasts. Uh, the the one where we talked about. Manga. Manga all the time. This is boring. Talk about DBZ. Fuck other animes. So that's what... <laughs> that's, that's what his real comment was. I rephrased it, but... Well, I'm really nah, glad I got that... That's that how that you should have kept it. Um... It, it's a it, chaozu, Vegeta. <laughs> I, I, I kind of want to get started on my opinion about Dragon Ball Z... But I, I I'll I'll say this much it it Dragon Ball Z has had an impact on not only my generation but apparently generations after mine and before and a little bit before and, and before yeah and uh, I understand that it can help introduce anime to to the general public as which it has done because um, but otherwise like. When, when you do finish watching it, when you are done watching Dragon Ball Z, and then at some point in time, if you so wish, watch Dragon Ball, you'll see a difference in how it's done, and how good how good it is between the two. Now, that's up to you to determine which one I'm preferring is better, but yeah. 
I don't want to even get started on GT. GT, as far as we're concerned, doesn't exist. It's fan fiction. It's fan that, fiction. That, that got collaborated in some sort of random studio. Right. And they offhanded it. No. <laughs> I almost brought up something that you would probably hit me for. <laughs> now go ahead. Just go ahead. Uh, so you, one thing that really is a shock to, to me and probably most people in the world of how it came to be is Evolution. I mean, <laughs> yes, that that shit sucked. Yeah. Not watch Evolution if you haven't seen it. If you have seen it, I pity get it out your memory. Have the amnesia. I pity your soul. Yeah, we're sorry. Mm. We we had nothing to do with it, but we're still sorry. Yeah. Well, uh. And my thoughts on Dragon Ball Z. I'm gonna say. It is a damn good anime. You'll never find another anime that has the longest fight sequences. <laughs> As Dragon Ball Z, I watched fucking Goku fight Frieza for like a year. <laughs> where he finally whooped Frieza's ass in the most beastly way. But <laughs> I, I do have there were some really cool moments in Dragon Ball well, Z. Well, yeah, I mean, the whole Goku going Super Saiyan, that was be- um, that was like, that was the peak of the fucking show. After yeah. that, it just kind of, it kind of tapered off, I guess. Right, but, I, I did enjoy the Cell Saga. It was alright. Uh, I yeah. did... Uh, my, I enjoyed a, Gohan. Gohan was great at that time. Now yeah. he's a pansy. It was so like there's so much there's so much st- talk about like how powerful Gohan should be, but <laughs> it doesn't help the fact that the show is about Goku. And I think what was supposed to go on is is Gohan was supposed to kind of take over, but uh, yeah, I guess I th- a lot of people didn't like that. That's like that's like what they're suggesting in in Naruto that Konohamaru is going to surpass fucking Naruto, and that's why a lot of people don't fucking like him. I know that's why I don't like him because there's no way he can come even close to freaking Naruto. I don't. Th- yes, yes. In the future of Naruto, they could do like a little cut into the future after Naruto is all said and done, and Konohamaru is somehow better than Naruto. But I will never fucking accept it. Just like JT, I'll just be like that's that's the GT of Naruto right there. Fuck, yeah. fuck you, Konohamaru. You're a piece of shit. No one likes you. You know who I think the coolest of the humans was? Who? Yeah, Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. Tien. Yeah. yeah Tien. We all like Tien. Tien was... He was so... He- like, he came up with the uh, solar flare technique, and that was so fucking helpful throughout the entire series. They used it so friggin' many times. Yes. And... I think what was so beast was when Tien held back Cell. Cell, yeah. Second stage Cell, yeah. Oh my god. That was yep. pretty awesome. It was <laughs> it was incredibly impressive. That one, there's a couple parts that I love. That's that's the part that I love. Another part that in, in DBZ that I love is uh, what actually I, I, I know some people don't, but when Vegeta blew himself up against Boo. I knew that was coming. Like when when Majin, even before Majin Boo came around, or. Bobbity, whatever it was. Yeah, I knew Bobbity. something. I knew someone. I had this like premonition, like someone was gonna go suicide on us at some point in time if there was gonna be another series. And then Boo, yeah, the whole Boo thing came up. And I didn't really like a lot of the Boo saga. I yeah. did. Yeah, I, I, I like the Cell saga more than the Boo saga. Yeah, the Boo saga was just kind of I don't know, just like they're just trying to gloss it over. Introducing Oob, which is supposed to be the new savior, and that worked out really well oh, in the freaking GT. That was terrible. That worked really well in GT. Yeah, he's supposed to be the new savior. Her, her, her. Yeah, no. I wonder uh, if I should like put a little thing like sarcasm. Another thing there. about <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> hmm? Dragon Ball Z is probably one of the few animes you can watch dubbed that'll still be good. That's true. Oh, I yeah, cannot yeah. stand the subbed version. I cannot stand yeah, that is... at all. Well, I kind of the 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 what I want is I want them to meet halfway between the subbed, the original Japanese and the dub. The only thing I want them to keep from the original is the music. It was just so cheesy and yet so like well done, and it fit the situation so well. And then they added all that that other See. stuff to it later in America, and I was like, it, it's oh it fits it, but it doesn't do as well as it did in the original all right, series. I got something to say. All right, all right speaking of music. I want you, everybody, that hears this. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, I want you to go to YouTube eventually and look up the Canadian Dragon Ball Z theme song and tell me if that would not turn you off from that anime. <laughs> oh, wow. That is, 
That I've, is the stupidest fucking theme song I've, I've ever never heard. heard it. I've never even I've never heard it either. So we'll watch we'll, it. We'll definitely this. check it out after this. <laughs> That's actually very interesting because I thought they would actually do a good job because they've done a good job with some other stuff. Um, maybe this is just my opinion. I really like both subbed and dubbed Dragon Ball. You mean like both subbed? Yeah. And dubbed? Well, the thing is, like, the first time when I was when I was in Dragon Ball Z, like. The, the Android Saga, Cell Saga, hadn't even come out. Yet. Right. And I had to watch it. I watched... I actually took my time to find some episodes later on. And the only thing I could find was an absolute raw of when Trunks first appeared. Hmm. And it sounded awesome. I couldn't understand a, a lick of what they were saying. But it's just like... They were taught... Trunks kills the god out of freaking Frieza. And then he talks to Goku. And I, don't even, and I was like... Goku's a girl, and because uh, that was the first time I ever heard Goku's uh, Goku's voice in Japanese. Is yeah. that's and, what turns me off so much? Is it sounds like the little children, and they're always constipated. Yeah. Well, uh, but yeah, it, it sounded so cool. Like everything, it, like in theory, GT sounds good, and in theory, Dragon Ball Z sounds good. Because I really like the aspect of the Cell Saga. Like, I heard so much about it, and then I was like, I was watching it, and it wasn't anything like I expected it to be, but it still wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. It still wasn't bad. I just didn't like the whole tournament, the Cell tournament thing. That was kind of weird. All right. Next question. Shut up, Bojack. Eric says... All right, yeah. Eric says, talk about Kakashi's face. Uh, When I saw this question... It reminded me of other programs I've seen before about, um, like, other characters. Like, before that we found out what uh, Minato Namikaze looked like, Naruto's father, uh, some people uh, that I know online found this, or made this pro, or they found this program that, like, or I can't remember which, it's they found it or made it, either one. Basically, they took the images of, like, any of the other characters' fathers, like, uh, that they've seen before, like, Choji's dead or Shikamaru's dead, and they just kind of did a switch between those and then used the comparison program to find out what Minato would look like. Okay. And it was pretty freaking close. Um, and they did the same thing. Uh, the only downside to this is that, like, we didn't have Kakashi's face even when he was a kid. So what they did is instead is that they did it backwards from when they saw K uh, Kakashi's dad's face to uh, uh, when after he died or was killed from uh, by pain, killed by pain. Yeah, K pain definitely killed Kakashi because <laughs> pain is a badass. That's oh yeah, and he killed Jiraiya too. And you know what? Asuma was killed <sighs> by. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> if that, if that's an inside joke if anyone doesn't get it three of my favorite characters are Kakashi, Jiraiya, and Asuma and all three of them died <laughs> although one of them came back Kakashi came back but all three of them did oh well, Asuma back. came back too you're in <laughs> oh my god I'm, I hate you yeah okay um, <laughs> alright <clears throat> and he's dead again he's dead again technically yeah, but anyways alright but they did it, they did it backwards for Kakashi's dad face to find out what Kakashi would look like and uh, I I came in contact with them, and again it they were wondering what like why would I ask such a thing? But whatever, and they gave they gave it to me because they already had it because they had already had a bunch of questions for it, and uh, it's pretty close. Like the Min like I said, the Minato one was pretty freaking close. Like if you just did a crossover, it, it would be like that. And uh, here it is. Next question. Um, I'll read it. Jacob asks, and I actually I have a story to tell about this after I, after I ask, ask the question. Jacob asks, why in some English dub episodes of One Piece they call Zoro Zolo, even though his real name is Zoro? And before I tell you the real answer, uh, you had a explanation before then. Oh, for the real answer? No, yeah, you, you, no, 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 you thought it was the R&L thing. Oh, the R&L thing. Yeah, well, that... That's what I thought it was, but I know what the real answer is now. But it makes it makes kind of sense because the thing is about the Japanese languages or Japanese language and the English language is that the Japanese language doesn't have an L in it. Because I I don't know a lot of people know this because they do the the whole hero joke, but 
<laughs> when they do have to replace when they do have to replace something from English or something that has an L in it, they replace it with like a an R U sound or something that's close to it, an R I sound, something that's within within their R alphabet because most of their letters are are pronounced with two letters, uh, kind of like a I I don't I'm not really good with English, let alone Japanese to be able to properly explain it, but. Yeah. The real answer is though is, and I found this out at AWA when uh, there was a Funimation sneak peeks preview going on, and a guy named Adam there, very nice guy who works at Funimation, I asked him this question just for you guys, and he said the reason why is because the name Zorro uh, was owned by a movie company for the people who make the Zorro movies. It was it was trademarked by uh, Paramount. Yeah, it was trademarked by Paramount. I couldn't remember the name of the company. Yeah. Um, I watched I watched Zorro as a kid, so I know. I mm-hmm. saw the, yeah. And so when four kids had it, Paramount still owned the rights to the name Zorro. So they were forced to change it to Zolo. However, uh, like two months before uh, Funimation bought the rights to One Piece, which is what they have it now, they, Funimation has One Piece now, um, Paramount's contract for that name ran up and Funimation jumped on it. And now he's finally able to be called his correct name as Zorro. Yeah. And we lost the uh, Brooklyn nasally voice of Sanji from Thank Four Kids. Thank God. I love that voice. I That's my favorite fucking Sanji. Is the hated one with the, that the, voice. Oh my God. It, I thought it was so good. I thought it was perfect. I but thought then, it was then terrible. I found out that Sanji's... It, he's French. I knew he was French. I knew he was French too, but I'm just I just kind of <laughs> wish he had the Brooklyn voice still. I love that voice. You have anything to say about any of these stuff, Carl? Um, let's see. Stuff? Okay, well, you mean just ask him? Yeah, uh, I really have nothing I do because I don't watch One Piece and dubbed. Hmm. Okay, well, there's only two questions left. All right. Well, Justin Pepper asks, "Will you do long movie reviews?" That's you. I That's me. I mean, we we could. Do I know that. we could both do that, and it wouldn't be a problem. It probably would be pretty fun, but I don't know what like. How about all right? I'll just say it this way: I have not considered it. Um, it might be something for the future, but it definitely will not be something I'll be doing anytime soon. Mm-hmm. So, and then finally, Ali asks, "When is the release date of Sora no Otoshimono?" Oh, we did the. Yeah, we looked it up, and I've forgotten. It's some time... It's actually this year, isn't it? I think it was uh, late this year or the beginning of next year. Yeah, it's not too far away. If not, it has already come out. I think I saw something like that. And it depends if he's talking like about the movie or something. Oh, yeah, you didn't specify <laughs> referring to the movie or the anime. Or the manga, but the manga seems like it's... Yeah, I think the still, manga's going. Still ongoing. But... So, yeah, that, that's, a, that, that's a weird question. Yeah, that is a kind of a random question to ask us. Maybe because we just talked about anime and manga movies, like we noticed it. I've well, never heard of it. Before. If you have any questions well, about it, we'll see what we can do. It's called Sora no. Achishimino? Yeah. Yeah. Otoshimono. Otoshimono? Uh, That's right. I don't know. Are they looking for a movie or something? They didn't specify. That's the question. That's the question. Because uh, the anime is already out. Yeah, I know the anime started, so. It started in 2009. They must be talking about the movie, I guess. They, was, they like, had, a, they was had a remake again, or a sequel, that came out in 2010. So, maybe they're just waiting for it to, to sub, but that shouldn't really be the, long, Actually, a movie came out June 25th, 2011. So, there you go. June there. 25th, it's already out. There you go. So, go watch it, Allie. Yeah. I don't know how long it's going to be until it gets subbed. I know I had to wait, like, three months after... And Vangelion 2.2 or 2.2.0 came out for it to get subbed completely. Well, if it's gonna get subbed, it's gonna get subbed this month. So yeah, so that's yeah. good. Um, all right. That being said, I, I do want to bring up Ninja Saga real quick to talk about some of the Ninja Saga updates, just so our Ninja Saga fans aren't don't get upset at me again like they did last podcast. That <laughs> was a different <laughs> podcast than the other one. So. Yeah, they they. Got upset that I, we really didn't talk about Ninja Saga that much in that podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, th- some of the new things that came out to Ninja Saga, there is the new Chutsu with the new Iron Man stuff going out. What's it called? Phantoms? 
Phantom, Phantom, st- Phantom something. Yeah, Phantom something. The Phantom Mask, the Phantom Outfit. And the Phantom Impulse, which is the name of the Jutsu. Yeah. Uh, all that new stuff, and they also changed how the Visit Friends look. Have you seen that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So I'll yeah. put a picture of that up so anyone who hasn't seen it can see it. Yeah. That was a, that was a nice touch. But I kind of wish they did something like that for our profile. I think they changed our profile a little bit. No, they didn't. Well, okay, you know what? They did change it a little bit to accommodate for talents and, and jutsus, yeah. but it's pretty much the same. Yeah, it's it's not, I, I, I kind of wanted the room. Yeah. Like a little fucking customizable room. That, that would have been little, awesome. That would have given me a little more reason to play. Yeah. A little more. Just a tiny bit. Yes, it's a little fickle. Yes, we have a bunch of missions to do. But really, what do you have to do after you're done doing boss fights? After level 80 and you have all the boss weapons. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, now that, now that Ninja Song is out of the way, uh, now we can get into manga, and that's... Oh, no, one second. Okay. Um, for that last question about that anime... Yeah, Sora no... Date, I'm thinking that the film was released on, in theaters around June 25th. So... Uh, yeah, but that doesn't stop. The, DV, the DVD will be released probably within eight months. That's probably what we saw. We saw something like the end of this year to next year. Yeah, for the so for the, the DVD. But like I said, Evangelion two came out, and that was in theaters. And yeah. Okay. So the movie the movie is planned to be released in twenty twelve on DVD. That's good. Okay. So there you go. Um, Definitive. All right. Someone bring up One Piece, Bleach, or Naruto. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Let's start with Bleach. Okay, so we can quit. So we can get out of it. Start with the worst of the three. All right. Um, it's, this is how I read my this is how I read my manga. Whenever they all came out, and I didn't I didn't read them when they came out. At the the moment they came, you, basically, if I see all three of them, I'll start with Bleach, then go to Naruto, then go to One Piece. Same here. Because Bleach is always a disappointment. Now, Naruto can be a disappointment with its flashbacks. And not to say that One Piece doesn't have flashbacks, because they had a one most recently, but I was actually really interested in it. Because it involved Fisher Tiger, probably one of the most oh. badass characters, until his arc fin- his flashback finished, and then I was like, wow. It kind of changed my opinion, but that's kind of like, I don't know. But anyways, uh, Bleach involved that one bald guy, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I mean, yeah the guy who has He's the- actually one of the few characters right now that aren't terribly... That, that are still tolerable? Yes, that aren't terribly broken. That aren't bleached? Yes, that aren't bleached. <laughs> but, uh, and he was having a fight with the one kid who apparently has the, these brass knuckles that have a chance to break anything that had come to contact with. Right. And which just has been done. He even broke his friggin' uh... His weapon. His weapon, which is actually kind of supposed to be hard to do. Mm-hmm. So he was just like... Well, fuck that shit. Yeah. Fist it out. And that's an insanely bad idea, uh, idea because after he broke his weapon, he punched him in the arm and it severed one of his tendons to his finger, the middle finger, if I'm correct. It's a terrible idea, but oh man, is it an awesome idea. Yeah, like, it worked <laughs> out so, it worked out well, and that was probably one of the most entertaining moments in the entire show. Next to that, that one guy who fought Kenpachi and got cut clear in half. Just off the get-go. He's like, I will tell time to make me stronger than any man! He's like, that's stupid. And then Kenpachi's just like, you're dumb. And I was like, okay, as long as he stays dead, cut in half, what is it? Vertically? Yes, vertically. vertically. Okay, yes. His balls are now in two separate areas. They're not in the same sack. His sack is separated. His brain is separated down the middle. I know we have a mid part, a mid part in that area of our brain, but it's still our brain. If he comes back through some bullshit time, bullshit, bullshit, so if they bleach it, I'm done. If they bleach it, I, I'm done. So, so Bryce, what what you're saying is, uh, he felt it in his balls. Yes, he felt it in his balls. <laughs> Uh, Carl, I don't Actually, know. I have a. Uh, I don't really watch Bleach. Everybody should know that. Mm-hmm. It, it got old after the first. Uh, I guess you'd say season after he rescued Rukia. See, that was the good. Yes, yeah, that was the great season. Like when he first, when they first showed up, then the Rukia rescue Rukia, and then after that, it's just kind of like. Yeah, it just fell off. 
Yeah. yeah. Bullshit. That's when they bleached it as Yatsa. Yeah. yeah. But um, when I went to Gatlinburg, there was a lot of novelty stores, novelty swords and airsoft guns stores. And I seen, uh, I don't remember his name, the red-haired guy with the sword that stretches out. Oh, um, is it Rocky? No, that's no, not Rocky. it's uh, the guy who's Zabi Maru. If we remember it, his Zombok Toe, but yeah. we can't remember his name. Yeah, I because his Zombok Toe is awesome. Yeah, he does have a cool. Either way, they they had that sword there. Renji. Pretty oh, nice, Renji. Yeah, yeah Renji. That's his name. They had Renji's sword there. They actually had a lot. They had uh, bleach or not bleaches. Ichigo's sword, and um. They actually had a 68-inch Sephiroth sword there. Oh, that's ridiculous. That is awesome. That's awesome, but it's ridiculous. That's accurate. I, I've actually been to Gatlinburg. Nice place. Oh, really? I haven't been there. Yeah. I thought it was in Germany. It's uh, in uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. Oh, it's in Tennessee. I'll probably have been through there. I just passed through it. Mm, let's see. What else happened? Oh, yeah, that one uh, ice dude fought that video game. Or, whoa, what, finishing what up. What's his name? Like Hero something? It's just the name. Hero H. Faggot? Yeah, something Hero like that. Faggot, that's Hero right. Little Hero Little I've kid. heard a lot about him, like, back in the day when people were talking about how powerful he's going to be when he grows up. Well, I don't give a shit. Yeah. All right, next, uh, we're on to Naruto now. Yeah. Because Bleach sucks. We're just, we're just cutting off the Bleach conversation here. All right, um, the new chapter of Naruto. Um... They finally finished that fight with the Duke Clam dude. Oh, I liked uh, what happened at the end. It was kind of a mind blow for me, but I don't know about you. What, what happened? Uh, I, uh, I found out that he can make clones of himself while he's using the Nine Tails. And you didn't know that? Well, no. I, and, but not only can he do that, but he that that those entire fights that were going on were clones. Oh yeah, that was uh, when I saw that. I was like, damn, that's impressive. I actually thought the one that went to help Gar was. I thought that was him. the real one. Yeah. But I don't know where he's heading right now. Where he is heading. Because the one he who showed up at Shikamaru and Choji and Eno, the one who showed up there, that's a clone too. Yeah. And the one who, I don't know. The one with Hinata is a clone. Yeah, that one with Hinata is a clone. Well, that one, isn't she? Oh, no, that's a different fight. Um, it's just, the thing is, he's not technically supposed to do it. It's not that he can't do it, he's just not supposed to. Because it, it cuts his chakra, it cuts his the, power. The Nine Tails, how, how his cloak works right now is that, yes, he has all the Nine Tails' power, but that just leaves the Nine Tails with no power, so he's taking away Naruto's normal chakra. He never had all of the Nine Tails' power. No, no. He only got half of it. Yeah, like, right. probably like a third of it, even. But, uh, just like, when he has all the Nine Tails' power chakra, he has to displace the Naruto chakra. And, uh, the Naruto chakra is being sucked away by the Nine Tails right now. And every That's time right. he shadow clones... That doubles the rate. It, however many Shadow Clones are, it, that's how many times it increases the rate by which the Nine Tails is taking away his chakra. That's right. So, Shadow Clones is a really freaking bad idea. And he's has a few of them going around, like oh, yeah. six or seven at least. Yeah. And it doesn't, it doesn't even... I'm pretty sure... I don't know if it helps that some of them have kind of downgraded from Nine Tails mode, but if, if it does, that's cool. And it's kind of weird because one of his shadow clones, now that I know it's a shadow clone, went into sage mode. And I'm like, okay, why didn't you do that at the same time as doing Nine Tails? Because I've read back. I've read so far back to when he arrived on that stupid turtle island. Okay, that was the coolest turtle island. But I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just saying. Um, really cool to, to basically right now, looking for some explanation as to why he's not combining... Sage mode chakra and nine tails chakra. There is none. So if you guys want to argue with me, that's fine, but I know I have read, I have fucking read every fucking chapter between when he landed on that island and now, and there's nothing that suggests that he shouldn't be doing both. When he does do both, that'll be cool. That'll be awesome. That is what everyone wanted from the very beginning from when we saw the nine tails sage cool. mode eyes. When he was against Nagato. Yeah, when he was against Pain. Well, yeah. when he was when he's facing uh, Naz Nagato face to face, not one of his uh, six pads. No, oh, right. Yeah. And well, see, the thing is, he'd have to have a uh, proper chakra control to do that. I suppose you're right, but I mean, how much more chakra control do you need than controlling the ch the friggin' Nine Tails chakra? And you know what? He might already be doing it, but. 
it's been shown that he's doing them separately. Yeah. Well, everybody knows that Naruto is not the greatest with chakra control. He never that, has. That was been. that was kind of that. It, it, it. I guess that's true because he does need clones to to do not only the Rosengan but the Rosen the Shuriken Rosengan. And uh, well, now he does it. Yeah. And he's even having problems with the tail beast spawn. So I, I can understand where you're coming from there, but it doesn't change the fact that he knows how to very easily by himself yeah. take in nature chakra because he did it. And I just don't. I. They haven't given a reason yet as to why he's not using both. He's just not. It's just, well, I guess, that's the true. game breaker right there. That's the dos, dos ex machina if they haven't already introduced it two times already. Of course, mind you, Sage Mode wasn't that bad on, on the whole scale thing, but, uh, I mean, it was kind of helpful in the whole pain fight, but, I mean, even... Even Kishimoto knew that if, if the Deva Path, the one that could push and pull, was active when Naruto had to fight him, he wouldn't have won. Right. Because he lost, even after all the other five were gone, he still lost to the, to the Deva Path. And it was up to him, and Hinata had to save him. Right. And we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. We talked about that last time. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Okay, um. One Piece. One Piece. Oh, yes. Um, this chapter, last chapter, was a kind of a disappoint. Uh, kind of wasn't as, I don't know, it wasn't as good as some of the previous ones, but this one was pretty good because it was, uh, it showed that even even though he has been training for two years on his uh, haki, um, even his armaments, it's not exactly perfect yet, which is yeah. great. Nah, it's yes. not. Which is great well, it, because, uh, oh. yeah, go ahead, Carl. I said, um, he does still have the Master Hake, Hockey, which is hard as hell to train. Yeah, well, uh, Hakushoku Hockey, the one that he used to knock down 50,000 soldiers or whatever, mercenaries, whatever you have you, that's, that's, awesome. that's one he's kind of always had, and he's used yeah. it, like, on a few other occasions outside of, few, uh, outside of filler episodes. Yeah. And, uh... Uh, that, uh, even Rayleigh explained it. That's not something yeah. you can exactly train. It's just something yeah. that kind of develops right. with you, and it, it has certainly developed. It has certainly developed. Oh man! Another thing about it is, it's not that he's just training one. He's not focusing on one hockey. He's focusing them on them all. So yeah. of course, he's not going to perfect them all. Yeah. So I yeah, there are some people who are better with the the kind of the prediction one, which it seems it seems to me that uh, he's kind of not. As he, he is good with it because they have shown it lightly, but it's not as good as some other people's I've seen before. Right. Um, it has helped with the whole saving Shira Hoshi, the, the mermaid princess, especially with that whole weird fruit power, which I, I like the fruit power. So it was a good idea. They limited it nice, but it, it, it helps that uh, Hody J or not Hody Jones, uh, Vanderdecken wasn't a freaking octopus, so he has like eight, he has like six hands to tag people with. <laughs> Or different objects. Yeah, I'm really glad that he wasn't an octopus or a squid or something. Yeah, he does have multiple legs, but I've seen the fish that he is. He's like a, a sinner shark or something like that. Mm -hmm. he, nothing suggests he should have four legs, but whatever. Yeah. It's fishmen. <laughs> Doesn't really need an explanation. There are fishmen, mermen, mermaids. I've never seen a fish lady. Have you seen a fish lady? No. Mermaid. No, well, no, see, there's a difference. There's fishmen, who, who, what is Hody Jones? Right. And then there's a merman. Which has, which is uh, Shirohoshi's brother, the other shark one. I think he's a Mako shark, I can't remember. But he's got a fish tail. He doesn't have legs or something like that, I think, if I remember correctly. And that's what's the difference between them, is that they don't have legs. But I haven't, I've seen, we've seen mermaids, the ones that have tails, but I haven't seen, to my memory, a fish lady where they have legs. Hey. And I know fish. Uh, I know mermaids. When they turn thirty, they they grow their tail splits into two, so they can walk on land later in life. But yeah, maybe that's why there's no fish ladies is because eventually mermaids do that. But whatever. Yeah, hey, there probably won't be no fish ladies. Yeah. I I haven't even seen them like in the background ever. No, no it's just pretty pretty much just fishmen or mermen. Yeah, and then mermaids. Yeah, mermaids. Well, mermaids on on top of the rest. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, uh, what else can we talk about about that particular chapter? What about the what? at the end? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it turn. Oh yeah, it also. I guess it also turns out that they're planning something to give air to throw a giant oh, air giant, bubble. A giant air bubble at Luffy. Uh, well, not at Luffy, but at Noah. But Whoa. they're planning on putting Luffy on Noah. So uh, it's a it's yeah. And, it, and they explain it. It's like, oh, that was just, like, automatically you'd assume that would, that would stop it from sinking. But apparently it won't, which is kind of weird. So that just makes it, you think that the bubble has to be really big to make it stop from floating. Of course, mind you, they are making an island float with a really big bubble that is about the size of the island. Yeah. So, but I guess an argument they can make for that is that there are two bubbles surrounding it. Alright, I got a question. Right. Do these, uh, do the fishmen have, uh, like, he's got the thing where he can touch anything and then whatever he throws goes at him? Mm hmm. Is that a devil fruit? Yes. Yeah, that's his devil fruit. Alright, right. so why would he want to destroy the bubble? Wait, can fishmen still, do they not become anchors in the water? No, they become anchors in the water. That's That was a big, that was a big thing when, uh,. When it was brought up once, that what would happen if a fish man, because they're so good underwater, would it just negate it? It doesn't. They they lose everything. They they become they become the hammers that they're supposed to be, like a normal human. But they would. can just still breathe. Yeah, they just can still breathe. It's no, just they, they, they wouldn't just, die. They'd just be stuck underground. Yeah, they'd right. just be stuck in the water. So the only benefit is that they don't drown like a normal person would, yeah. um, which is actually pretty good. But it's not much of a trade off for. Uh, a fish man, which is why it would be so broken, because, you know, it's just a matter of time before they're rescued and or potentially eaten by a you know PC what, king. You know what I think would be broken? What? Is if Sanji had a devil fruit now? No, shut up. No, no. The Zoro or Sanji do not need a devil fruit. I don't want them to have a devil fruit. Because Nami, it would be broken. It would be stupid. It dep- Of course, it, mind you, it depends on what devil fruit power they get, but I mean, well, Sanji who, wants to become invisible, so... But well, that guy's, that guy's still alive, so that devil fruit's not going to pop up for <laughs> until, yeah, another 50 years or so. That'd be the cheapest thing for Sanji to have. The- yeah, it would be. <laughs> oh, of course, mind you, we're going into the new world, so there's a bunch of people with the kind of, you know, the the hockey that can predict movement, so I guess they could technically sense where he is. Yeah. Hey. But uh, it'd be cheap on his behalf because he's such a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed Jay likes uh, all the perverted characters. I don't know why. I always end up liking <laughs> the perverted characters. And I think you're referring to Morogu from Inuyasha. And uh, Jiraiya. From <laughs> and Jiraiya. From, oh, it's a list. It's it's all oh, pointing man. into one direction. Shut up, you guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I like Sanji a lot. I mean... Uh, I love all the, I love all the crewmates. I, I I'm still trying to get back up to liking Usopp again, but after the whole obesity thing, I can't. I, <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to get a recover from him. But I, like, I still like I like him now. But I gotta I gotta get back up to the other to they where make, everyone else is at. Yeah, they make Robin seem so overpowered compared to everybody. Well, she's supposed to be overpowered from the beginning and. Yeah. Now that I look back on it, during the whole, whole uh, uh, what's it called, Thriller Bark, uh, arc, they kind of, I, they kind of showed how she could be weak. If, like, the opponent's too strong, she won't be able to hold them for too long. But, who knows now? <laughs> I mean, she's done stuff now that is just crazy, and, yeah, I, um, Frankie, I, <sighs> He's useful in certain situations, but I don't know how really strong he can become. But, of course, mind you, he's now using technology of Dr. Vegapunk, the guy who made friggin' uh, Bartholomew Kuma the way he is now. And that guy proved a problem to the rest of the entire pirate crew. But, you know, yeah, before the, before the arc, but uh, before the two years arc, but still. But they, they demolished him quick this time. Yeah. Well, those were the pacifistas. They didn't have the the paw paw fruit, fruit or the paw paw fruit or power. You know what I mean? The push anything power. Like 
like push anything, literally anything. He has rejected it. Yeah, he 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 can push the pain out of someone's body as he as it was shown with Luffy, mm-hmm. and that was that led up to probably one of the most. But uh, Zoro's a beast. Yeah, that probably like yeah. I said that led to one of the most uh, badass moments that Zoro has probably ever been in when he had to take all that pain and he was just standing there. Yeah, he just took it and he was unconscious though. Was yeah. Like, well, no, he was still no. When Sanji came up to him, he was just like absolutely nothing and you know, he's just and he's just covered in blood and his eyes are bloodshot and it's it's ridiculous. It's pretty amazing though. Yeah, it was great. Uh, cause that, uh, the first time I saw that was in the anime, because I didn't start reading the manga until they caught up, until they got separated, and Luffy was on, uh, the, on the Amazon Lily, he was on Amazon Lily, and then, like, I had to wait a week between episodes, and I was like, forget it, the manga's ahead. So I was just like, yeah, I caught up on the manga, and then I had to wait for the manga, so yeah. But now the, but now the anime's... No, the anime didn't ha- throw itself into filler like Naruto did. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I'm, like, so glad that the fillers aren't like Naruto. Like, they Naruto... Fillers, but it's flashback fillers, which are already supposed to be there. So it's not even really filler. Yeah. Well, the thing about what One Piece do with their kind of filler is that they just extended canon stuff that was in already in the manga. And what Naruto d- is doing right now is... They're expanding oh, on a boat trip that in the manga, I read it, lasted at least eight, three to eight pages hey. in the manga. It was, And that's being generous with the eight. It was three pages where they were shown on the boat, but... It is, and they're now, kind of doing the same thing, but they're so fucking stupid. The, like the, like the, the last filler... Oh, the the uh, the shadow clone yeah, yeah, yeah. mutiny. Oh god, <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Like, yeah. okay, you're mutinying against me. Dismiss. I'm sure they gave a nice, a nice little bullshit reason as to why he didn't, you know, dismiss them. He thought they like tied he his, he tied his hands. Wait, he tried. Yeah, there's was like you can't do that. Wait, so he did the hand sim- he did the hand- we get to choose when we leave. So, oh <laughs> that is such bullshit. They're they're desperate. They're desperate for filler. I don't even know why. They're the manga's really far ahead. Yeah. And One Piece is technically kind of pretty far ahead, but I really want to see the things you can't see in the manga, in the anime in One Piece. Like, can Luffy now limit the area of effect of his second year into just one arm. And you know what? They probably gave us enough clues in the manga, but I want to see it. I want to see just his arm <laughs> turn pink and punch the god out of that friggin' pacifista. <laughs> uh, that's all I want to see. And when I see that, I'll just... I'll be like, I'm so proud. Yeah. So so proud that that he... That Oda took something so simple... And yet expanded upon it and made it brilliant. Like the whole Gear Second was brilliant in its own on itself because he's he's doing stuff that not a normal person do except a rubber man. Yeah, and that that was just brilliant. And it, who knows if he even intended to do that from the beginning? It's just he's just like you know what? What's a good way to improve upon it? This really creative and inventive way. Whereas I don't know, uh, Bleach for example. Example. Gets a good ten show. That's it. That has been the mainstay of his fucking technique since Bleach is fucking since he first fucking used it. That's nope. it. And I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have too much of a problem with it if it changed as much as anything else has in any other show. Like even in Inuyasha, he had kind of the same thing. His actually did change. After a while, I learned Adam and Barrage. Yeah, and, and and a bunch of other stuff. And but guess what? Tensho, he did the one thing where he put it around his sword and kept it there. That's where it starts from, anyways. I'm sorry, but uh, if you're gonna be more creative, try to to, to g- restart the series and use Fullbring the way it should have been. Yeah, the major nerf factor. 
Because the Aizen fight broke Bleach. It bleached itself with that. Hey. But that's why a lot of people still compare Bleach and Dragon Ball Z. Is because the power scale keeps fucking getting tipped. And now he's set it back, and now it's just... It's it's it, it's gone back fucking up again. What I don't Except like is the Renji. fact that <laughs> well, all right, Ichigo, he'll use his strongest form, whatever. I don't know what the hell they do now. Either way, he'll use his strongest form, get his ass beat, and then his weakest form whoop the dude's ass. Yeah, yeah fucking getting his ass beat for days on end. Yeah, it's I don't I don't know. The Grimjaw fight was really good until yeah. the end. Where he's like, oh, well, I'm done fighting. Okay. And yes, it was a really strong emotional moment at that point in time. But bullshit. Call him bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And yes, I guess he did have to get saved from, what, the number five? That that really tall, ass-clown defense dude? That irritating dickweed? And Kenpachi had to come save him, and Kenpachi had to become even more broken and use two hands. <laughs> Which is, I didn't even think was a thing. Yeah, I didn't and, think that. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, that's really cool, but... I never thought of it until it happened. Yeah. It's cool, but at the same time, it's just kind of broken. Yeah. I mean... It's just crazy. Because... I don't know. Because, like, the moment... The moment... I, I have this feeling that if Kenpachi ever gets his Shikai, which I pray to God he doesn't, this, the show will just, just break. The manga will just, like, cease to fucking exist. And just the anime will continue on forever and filler. <laughs> <laughs> Blending together. <laughs> playing the same, all episodes at once at the same time. Yeah. You never got that from Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, yeah. Just, the full ring was a great idea when they first introduced it. Yeah. And I liked how it was going to, I thought it was going to, kind of go out but then the bad guy he started acting up and i you know i i didn't mind that at first i was like okay it's something new something where the bad guy does, doesn't have to be hunted down he just came to them and started poning crap and uh that kind of tapered off a little bit and then it went into full blown ichigo's got his powers back god save them all right i don't know i i, I like the main villain i don't like the the sub villain, the guy who lost his memory and then regained it back. Yeah, the G G Ginjo. Ginjo, I guess. I don't know. The guy who's got the memory sword. No, 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 not the guy who has the memory sword. The guy who has the the necklace sword and. Oh yeah, you're talking about Ginjo. The guy who's got the memory sword is somebody else. I can't remember his name. Yeah. He's the guy who actually liked until I found out which powers were. Right. And then I was like, that's slightly bro. That's that's Aizen broken. Yeah. Aizen's power was stupid. I, his Shikai, his Shikai, Shikai, it was sh Shikai, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was his Bankai, it had to be his Bankai, wasn't it? I don't know, continue. But anyways, either one, either way, it's broken as crap. Because it's like, I make you see, feel, hear, orgasm any way I feel like it. <laughs> it's like, my sword will look, feel, smell, taste, just, just like me. I don't know why you taste it, but still. So even a, a medical surgeon could operate on it and not tell the difference. And I'm like, so why, what, what, what stopped you from doing anything? The blind guy. Oh, that's right, because he can't see you release your shikai. Oh, he's in your team. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, that was like one of my favorite characters, Tosin. Yeah, that was irritating. Yeah, and, and then he killed Tosin when he could see. Just straight up killed him. And then the, the the furry got all pissed. Ugh. Furry. <laughs> There's a furry now? Yeah, he's a captain. Well, was a captain. Wait, oh, that quit? guy? Did he die? No, he's alive. I thought, I thought he died. I no, he's alive. Somewhere. You talking about the big tiger looking guy? Yeah, the big fox motherfucker. Yeah. Alright, yeah. I liked him before furry, he took... I, 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 I hate to say this, but I liked him before he took off his hat. His mask. His helmet. Yeah, he, he looked really cool like that. Yeah. And then he took it off. Yeah. And we all know how I feel about furries. Mind you, I've changed my opinion about furries, but it doesn't change the fact that I still don't like the fact that he maybe, was a furry in the first it, place. Maybe it, it irritates you then because it was still during the time where you hated furries. Yeah, it was, it, it was still during the time when I hated all furries instead of just pretender furries in real life. I don't have a problem with anime furries because, well, unless, you know their characters dressed up as furries, then I have a problem. Yeah. If they're just, you know, 
if they're Aisha Clan Clan from Outlaw Star, Woo. good, good, fine. If their race denotes that the fact that they should have cat ears and a fox tail or a bull's penis, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. But still, what if they, you know, <laughs> cosplay with a bull's penis? Then it's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Um, that's uh, a problem on a couple different levels, but. <laughs> then, then we have I'm problems. Like cosplay as a, a bull. That'd be funny as a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, the giant bull suit, and then just like the giantest bulge ever. <laughs> just the thing just dangling there. That'd be stupid. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Uh, it's terrible. Um. No, I guess that's pretty much all we can say about One Piece and Bleach, I guess. And Naruto. And Naruto. So, I don't... I, unless we want to ring up Kenichi or uh, World Gone with Us. I really don't want to say anything about Kenichi, because I'm kind of... I, I'm tape, I'm tapering off on Kenichi. I, I kind of want to, don't want to read it anymore, to be honest. But I know it's going to pick up soon. I just want it to do that. I just, it doesn't help that the chapters don't come out that often. I wish I was so far behind. One thing that um, I don't know if you want to catch up about, but I think I should start reading reading Hajime no Ippo, and I wonder what the viewers think about that. Do you guys think I should start reading Hajime no Ippo or not? They're probably going to ask you to reach uh, Katsukiyo Hitman Reborn or something like that. Yeah, I know that uh, Carl reads like, Hitman Reborn. Yeah, Katsukiyo Hitman Reborn is good. Mm. At first, know. the anime... I was like, God, this sucks, but eventually I just kept pulling through, and then it got good. Yep. Which is apparently the opposite of Soul Eater anime. Yeah, Soul it, Eater's really, really good at the beginning, and then it just becomes terrible. It becomes filler, <laughs> because it's no longer pertinent to the to the manga, right? Um, the anime, yeah, the anime fades into filler at about, like, 15 episodes in. And it, the anime is actually over, but the manga's still going on. Yeah. I know that, because they even have that new... Like a spin-off of Soul yeah. Eater? I yeah, can't it's remember. actually called Not Soul Eater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or is it Soul Eater Not? I don't remember. Yeah, it's either one of those. It's one of those two. And I actually liked the very first chapter of that. Yeah. But I didn't really like the other two chapters. I got, I still got to... I, I, I like the other chapters after that, but I still got to... I, I kind of want to catch up with but I got distracted with a bunch of other ones. Like, The World God Only Knows. Oh, man. That's a, that's a good one. If you guys haven't read it... Read it Read it. Don't. Have y'all seen, um, uh, yeah. have y'all seen Shakugan no Shanna? Yeah. Oh. I've seen it. What's in the anime. This is the girl with it's the red hair good. with the fire sword and the, the really crybaby main character. Well, it, it, it gets better. That See, sounds uh, like a fucking second. dozen other animes. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like 40 other animes. <laughs> I'm so confused. It's not causing... No. No, it's not causing a stigma, although that, that is really good. Because she has a flame sword. And red yeah. hair and... No. Oh, what a fucking surprise. Yeah. That's the one about the torches. The torches? Yeah, when a, uh, when a person gets killed by one of the fucking demon monster things. Uh, now we're in Bleach. They put a torch in them. They'll slowly fade away and everybody will just start forgetting and forgetting and forgetting. Yeah, it'll eventually erase them from history. That's weird. It's kind of yeah. cool. Huh. Yeah. But, see, uh, the second season came out, I already finished it, it was pretty good. Third season coming out in, uh, next season, so, it's gonna be pretty good. I haven't even finished watching the first season, but I have seen a couple episodes of it. I pushed through, and I I was getting so pissed off about the fucking weak-ass character, but now he's starting to get strong. Um, another, uh... Kind of like, uh, Rosario... Something Rosario. Rosario plus Vampire. Oh yeah, Rosario plus Vampire. I um, gotta catch up with that. It's the second, it, the first season is really a lot better than the second season, but uh, yeah, like in the, the second, se- in the second season, he actually gets powers and he's actually really powerful. Okay. Um, one uh, a manga slash anime that I need to read or watch is Black God, also known as Kurokami. Oh, that makes okay. And I didn't even think about. I, I I even know both of those in Japanese. I didn't even think about that. And that's pretty good. It's a pretty good one. I need to. I've watched a couple episodes of it. I need to get back into it. What? Uh, let's see. I don't suppose anyone else has read Gantz. No. <laughs> no. Just everyone gets quiet. Yeah. Just. What? What'd you say? Gantz. 
Dance. No, Gantz. Never mind. Gantz. Don't, don't worry about it, Charles. Gantz. I'm sure you haven't read it. Yeah, I've read it. Oh, you have? Yeah. Are you caught up? Uh, I, I've read it for a while. I watched the anime. Then I read it for a while, and then I just kind of dropped it out of nowhere. Uh, it was pretty cool, but everybody I, was getting killed that I liked. I was like, fuck. Well, the thing is, most of those people that you liked got killed are probably back now. But of course, most most of them are just are gonna die again, most likely in the near future. I just don't. Oh man, I don't want to. Like, I liked I, I liked how I liked how it started and it was doing pretty good. Then they introduced this the psychic kid and his 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 teacher. <laughs> Yeah, that was. I was like expecting them to do so much more. Yeah, I was. Well, the kid is doing a lot right now, and I love him. I love yes. him right now. Um, but uh, I might. Then they introduced uh vampires. And yeah. I was I, like. I, I think I did catch up to Gantz, Now that you're saying it. Yeah. And like they're supposed to be like right. the biggest badasses around, and. Yeah, yeah, they cut. They kind of they faded away now. It was oh, weird. Have they? Yeah, I haven't seen him again. All right. I think we're going to end it here. Uh, we've been doing it for a little while now. I don't know how long, but it's been a while. Um, people were complaining about how long it was last time. And well, they can watch it in episodes if they want. Yeah. So uh, we're going to end it here. Um, thanks to our special guest, Carl. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. All right. And um, all right, we'll catch you guys later. Peace out. See ya.